Council has decided to put on a 5K run for in, in honor of Jay Donawa. Um, what's the reason behind this particular event and honoring Jay Donawa? Yeah, Sands Parish Council decided that they wish to honor Jay Donawa in reference to his over 30 years athletic career. Jay, uh, no secret, uh, biggest win for you obviously was last year. Sands Council has come to you and want to honor your years of service, but also like with the May 24th win. Yeah. Took you some time to decide whether or not you wanted this type of atmosphere around you? Yeah, I mean, I'm extremely honored. Um, when Camda came to me about the, um, you know, the proposal way back in um, June, um, I indicated that I'll be off the island for the, um, the summer and um, I'll be returning in September. So she was like, well, you know, we'll put something together. And during the course of that time, she hit me up once or twice, said they're still working on some things. And then the wheels went in motion in regards to having a race, which was something that I, uh, you know, I didn't think it was going to go in that, that avenue. But however, I'm extremely humbled and you know, honored by that. And, now, like I can tell my good friend Jacon Edmonds and my uncle Joe, I didn't get to ride on the white horse after winning cup match, but at least you know got something similar or something similar but different. Yeah. Will you be taking part? No, I'm gonna be the official starter, and um, I'll be out there as the cheerleader this year. Okay. Well, Kanda, the Sands Parish Council has come up with this. Obviously, it's it's a community-based event. Um, is that the mandate of the parish council in Sands? Yes, that's correct. We can be seen to be decorating the bridge as well as other community events. How we actually started off this competition for um, Jay Donovan was by a t-shirt design and the schools involved were Somerset Primary, West End Middle School, Sand Secondary Middle School, and Delta and Tucker. We actually had them design the t-shirt which will be revealed um, hopefully later on today and the winning individual was a female and her name is Enzai Johnson from Delta and Tucker. She was presented yesterday with a gift certificate as well as the school won $250 for the participation. Can we see this being an annual thing with regards to the Sands Parish Council? Yes, you can see it as being an annual event. However, we do have some wheels in motion and we're looking forward to actually be the legend race. So we will be highlighting other Somerset individuals that have participated in athletics. Jay, for you, how important is it that people who are still alive get recognized? As, as years gone by, we've always seemed to wait until someone has passed on because you've run in the honor of many other uh, past right. people who have passed. But the fact that you're still able to be around and witness and enjoy such an event. Yeah, like I said, I'm honored. Um, I, I keep looking in the newspaper to make sure that my fish is not in the obituary. <laughs> so that you know, because generally speaking, you get your you get your flowers after you you pass on. But um, to be able to have this uh, while I'm still um, relatively young and, um, and and healthy, it's um, it, you know it's an incredible experience. And um, Camda, they came to me with the um, the asking me for uh, in regards to the design of the course. Um, so I made it the. Um, probably going to be the flattest and the most picturesque course that um, any runner will you know, have ever experienced. So it's going to um, start on the railway trail and um, by Bluebird Lane in the, um, the eastern side of the, the tracks by the Somerset Bridge. And then you're going to transfer through to um, um, through the railway trail to Somerset um, Police Station and then along Mangrove Bay. Um, over Watford Bridge and they're finishing at Bowes Island so it's going to be a beautiful course um, you know panoramic view and um, it's kind of by design. Camda had some other ideas in regards to the course and I told her it was too difficult you know for because you know what we're trying to cater to is our runners of all levels so um, obviously some of the more experienced runners would you know they they wouldn't mind hills but you know, we're trying to cater to um, runners of all levels and um, I think it's going to be a fun day and I just encourage everyone if they have the opportunity to come out. I know it's close to Christmas and a lot of people will probably be traveling this weekend and you know, all that. But if you're around, um, 8.30, um, the walk starts at 8 and um, it, should be, it should be a fun day. What's your secret to your longevity? Um, good West Indian blood. Antigua blood, old dreams, but Bermudian by birth. But I believe it's 
I, I believe it's just a combination of um, also just the way I've lived my life. Um, I haven't really abused my body over the years. Um, you know, got my rats, ate my vegetables, and um, didn't drink too much alcohol. Yeah. Yeah.